Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by specular and diffuse reflection. You should then be able to describe how the colour of an object depends on the wavelengths of light absorbed and reflected. And this is for triple physics students only. We've already seen reflection in a previous video. Remember that during reflection the angle of reflection is the same as the angle of incidence. So I'm showing you here the surface of a mirror and as you can see, all of the light rays are reflecting in a single direction. Scientists call reflection like this specular reflection. And remember that this takes place on smooth surfaces. Specular reflection produces an image. Now light can also reflect off a rough surface like this. In this case, the light rays are scattered. This is called diffuse reflection and diffuse reflection does not produce an image. Okay, we're gonna take a look now at color. Remember that white light is a mixture of all the different colours. If we pass white light through a prism, then it splits into a spectrum like this. So here are all the colours in the spectrum of visible light. Now the key idea that you need to understand is that each colour has a narrow band of wavelength and frequency. The colour of an object depends on which wavelengths of light are reflected, transmitted or absorbed. We're going to start by looking at coloured filters. Coloured filters work by absorbing specific wavelengths and transmitting, in other words, allowing through other wavelengths. So I'm showing you here a red filter. We're shining white light onto the filter. The filter absorbs all the colours of visible light apart from red, so only red light is transmitted through the filter. This shows a green filter, and again, all of the colours of visible light are absorbed apart from green. Green is transmitted through the filter. Now objects that transmit light can either be transparent or translucent. We can easily see through transparent objects, for example this wine glass. However, translucent objects scatter the light rays, so we cannot see through them clearly. Okay, now objects that we cannot see through at all are called opaque. We're going to look now at what determines the colour of an opaque object. I'm showing you here white light shining onto a white object. White objects appear white because they reflect all of the wavelengths of visible light equally. This shows white light shining onto a black object. Black objects appear black because they absorb all the wavelengths of visible light. This shows white light shining onto a red object. In this case, the red object absorbs all the colours of white light apart from red, which is reflected. And that's why the object has a red colour. This shows white light shining onto a blue object, and again all of the colours are being absorbed, apart from blue, which is being reflected. OK, so what happens if we combine coloured objects with coloured filters? This shows a red object and a red filter. The red filter absorbs all of the colours of white light, apart from red, which is transmitted. The red light can now reflect off the red object, so the object appears red. This now shows a green object and a red filter. Once again, the red filter allows red light to be transmitted. However, in this case, the green object completely absorbs the red light, so none is reflected. In this case, the green object will appear black, as it's reflecting no light at all. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on colours in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.